All right, guys, we are on Bus Confessions today. We have a very special guest with us. We have Trap Bunny. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the bus. Thank you for having me. For oh, real. my God, of course. I'm excited that you're here. Are you excited? How do yeah. you feel being on the bus? To be honest, it makes me feel like those videos I used to watch when I was younger, like oh. fake taxi and yes. stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, yes, this is girl. like my dreams are coming true for <laughs> real right now. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have some fun today. All right, so I have to know, why do they call you Trap Bunny? Um, <clears throat> because, you know, I be shaking my and you know, like bunnies be hopping, my it hops. Mm -hmm. Like, it hops for sure. It's little, but it jiggle for real. And I was trapping, like, heavily trapping. Not so much anymore, but right. I was trapping mm -hmm. real bad. So, you know, trap yeah. bunny. And also, like, Playboy bunny. Mm -hmm. You know, that's copyrighted, obviously. So I'm right. like, okay, I guess I'll be a trap bunny instead mm -hmm. of a Playboy bunny. I've seen your little twerking tutorials online. Mm-hmm. Do you follow them? Oh, I mean, you know, I be trying, but... I'll teach you in person. Yeah, in person yeah, is I'll better. Yeah, I'll teach you in, in person, person is better. so yeah, you can really like, you can feel everything too. Do you think people are like um, shocked when they see how much you can really shake your ass? To be honest, yeah, because, I mean, recently I've gained weight, but like mm. before I was like, you know, like a stick. So when they see my ass move, it's like, what's all that movement back there? Like, where did that come from? Mm -hmm. But... It just be moving. I don't know where it comes from. Like, I guess, like, rhythm, you know? If you got rhythm and can follow a beat, you really can't shake your ass. Right. But if you don't got that, I just wouldn't try. Do you think you could shake your ass good on the bus? To be honest, yeah. I know I could. We're definitely going to need a tutorial of that. Okay, bet. <laughs> For sure. So, you used to be a dancer. Mm-hmm. I used to, as soon as I turned 18, I went to the club on my birthday and was like, let's get to work. Really? But... It was like a weekend, so I wasn't allowed to audition. But then I went back on like a weekday mm -hmm. and auditioned and got right up in there. What do you? What did you do? Like, how did you get yourself hired right away? Did you have any like special moves, or you just showed them how you twerk, basically? I mean, to be honest, I dance more seductively than I do like twerking, and I think that that like different type of dancing mm -hmm. is really what like got Such them. A part. Yeah, because yeah. I definitely was dancing to like slow music too, like. Like, what kind of song? Like, I danced to Liberian Girl by Michael Jackson. Like, oh, I, okay. yeah, I was not doing nothing like the regular club music, mm -hmm. and I felt like that was, like, appealing. And also, my hair was, like, bright blue. Mm -hmm. So I was just really standing out. Mm -hmm. And do you still, like, see yourself going back and being a dancer anytime soon? Or? I mean, to be honest, yeah. I recently tried, but then this decided to do some weird and I just wasn't it so I was like you know maybe not like a girl at the club yeah what does she do so I don't know if you've ever danced at the club or like been to a lot of strip clubs mm -hmm. like typically if somebody's on stage you don't go and dance in front of the stage you know because that's taking another girl's yeah. money yeah why me and my best friend we danced on the stage this peanut head want to come stand right there and start <laughs> dancing at the stage right where the money at you know what I'm saying like the club was not having like hella money so right where the money was at it was like she was standing there. You know, I don't care. You feel me? I obviously look. I get a bag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. It's just the principle. Like, mm -hmm. you don't know me, and I would have never done that to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I go to the strip club. I dance. All that money I make, I show love to other dancers, and I throw it back on them. So it's like, girl, you really canceled out a check. You know what I'm saying? Right. I could have came back the next day and spent a bag, but now I'm not going to, just because you it up for everybody. Mm -hmm. There's been girls on here before. We just had this girl named Egypt. I was doing her interview, and she was talking about how girls at the club, like, they be on one sometimes. Girl, listen, I never had these problems back in L.A., so when Miami. I moved out to Miami, over here, I'm like, mm, Also, mm -mm. Miami clubs are different. Yeah, definitely a different atmosphere, for sure. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's easier to make money here or harder? I think it depends on your body type, to be honest, mm -hmm. because certain clubs like like a BBO look, certain clubs like a natural look, certain clubs only like light skin, certain clubs only like like dark girls. So mm -hmm. it just really depends on where you're working, to be right. honest. But it's easy for me to make money anywhere, to mm -hmm. be honest. Look at me. Period. I feel that. 
for sure. So how do you feel about BBL culture? You're natural. Yeah, I personally wouldn't get a BBL, but not because like I don't like how it looks because there's some girls BBLs Listen, this one girl that I'm trying to smash, her boo <laughs> is really nice. But me personally, I don't like needles. I don't like going to the doctor. Like, I hate all that. So, and the recovery time is just too long for me. I don't want to be in pain that long. Like, I, I don't, I just wouldn't put my body in that type of situation. For sure. And a lot of girls, I feel like, possibly get, you know, caught up in, in that look. Me personally, I don't want to do something that could possibly risk my life right. like that. Like, that's really scary. For sure. Super. And you know, natural bodies are in too, though. I feel like they're coming back in. Would you agree? I feel like they're always in. They're just not in here. In Miami? Yeah. Okay. They're just not in here. Because mm -hmm. natural bodies, other places, is like what's really praised. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it really all just depends on where you're at. For sure. So you're also everywhere on TikTok. You yeah, have a lot of viral sounds. As I should, to be honest. Like, gotta keep running it up. Okay, so can you give us a couple of your viral sounds, like here on the bus? Okay, yeah. The voice isn't gonna sound the same because you know I wasn't prepared, but of course. definitely like the. Did you hear what the I said? Shake mm -hmm. some. Mm -hmm. And then um, three musketeers. The a a tell a shorty come here and. You know, reporting live, it's Trap, Benny, Bubbles. I got a lot of viral TikTok songs, to be honest. Yeah, I just posted a TikTok like maybe two months ago where I was like, you know, I was being a little cocky. I was like, oh yeah, I've never heard of you. And then I put all like my viral songs in there and it was like, oh, dang, I do know her for real. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just because of the sound. Yeah, literally, like you've heard my voice. You may not have seen my face, but you heard that mm -hmm. for real. Unless you're like not chronically online, then I guess maybe not. But okay. otherwise, you definitely heard it for sure. So how does it feel when you see so many people using your sounds and, you know, was the sound thing like a game changer for you? Yeah, I mean, girl, I manifested this life. You know, like, I wanted this to happen, so it did. Right. You know, like, I, I made this happen. Like, I've always grew up with the mentality that I'm famous already. You know, like, I know I'm famous already. So when it did happen, I was super grateful, but it was also expected. Like, I knew what I wanted to do. Like, I knew I was going to grow up and either be a star or be a rapper. Like, it was one or the other, and now it's both. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, this is what I, this is what I came out the womb for. So mm -hmm. it was great, for real. So since you are, you know, in the spotlight a lot, do you ever get nervous of like the negativity that comes with it? Does that ever bother you? Um, yeah and no at the same time. Like it did in the beginning because I was unprepared for that side. I was definitely unprepared for like negative and like all that hate and stuff. But to be honest, now I just realize like it's helping me out more than it's hurting me because number one, sometimes it's actually constructive criticism, you know? Like, for example, I had my braces on too long and my gums were swelling and I didn't realize that they were swelling because, you know, you see your face every day, you don't really be noticing what's changing. And it turned out that my dentist had my braces really bad. Damn. So, by looking at all those comments, bullying my gums for being swollen, I took my to the dentist. I'm like, no. There's a, it, we ain't going down like that. For real. So, then my dentist like was like, oh, your gums they're really swollen we don't know why so then finally when i come here like to a different dentist they were like oh yeah your braces were put on way too close to your gums like it's bad like you're basically you got a bad set of braces so they took them off and then i'm gonna get invisalign and stuff uh -huh. instead because that was like crazy so yeah i turned it positive that way and also like you have to comment on my video to be mean to me and that comment is gonna get me more exposure so it's like you posting and commenting about me you mean like it's helping me mm -hmm. it's not really hurting to be honest so was your teeth something that people were mean to you about like often or growing up yeah or like and even now yeah TikTok, like they're yeah. like oh yeah there's like there's, there's a gap in your teeth there's a gap in your teeth i'm aware Ah, but I think I like gap. Yeah, no, even when I get my Invisalign, like, I'm not closing my gap. Like, I'm keeping it. Mm -hmm. So, it's just, like, people are going to be real disappointed when they're like, oh, yeah, that Invisalign didn't work. No, it did, babe. I did this on purpose. <laughs> okay? Yeah, I think the comments are what, like you said, they, 
you know, people are mean in them, but they're what make your video more people see them. Exactly. Get more engagement. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know, the trolls on there, they think that they're being mean, but really you're just like, it, right? No, really, like, bully me all you want. Guess mm -hmm. what? Haha, <laughs> more views. Mm -hmm. So do people recognize you in public ever? Yeah, definitely. Like, sometimes I'd be wearing my sunglasses because it'd be too bright outside or like it'd even be too bright in the malls. And like, I don't know, I feel like with the sunglasses on, nobody be peeping me. But as soon as I take those sunglasses on, it's like, people are snapping their necks, opening their mouth. I'm like, oh my gosh. I just feel like, me personally, I would rather people just come say hi to me instead mm -hmm. of like be chasing me through the mall. Like I've definitely been like stalked through the mall. Like I had to duck into a store. Cause it's like, that makes me anxious. Like yeah. if you want to say hi, say hi. But if you're just like lurking around, I don't know your, like I don't know your motives. And like I mm -hmm. said, I grew up trapping. So it's like, I didn't grow up where it was like normal yeah, to follow so you have, people like, a different around. Mindset yeah. Too, right? yeah. Like that's is low key scary. Like, just come say hello, mm -hmm. please. I promise, I do not buy it. Would you hard. say that that's your? Oh, all right. Period. Would you say that that's your craziest like fan encounter or have like? Um, actually, no. My oh. favorite, my craziest <laughs> fan encounter is actually this girl who took every single one of the tattoos that I have and put them on her body <gasps> in the same places. Um literally goes out in public and tells people that she's me like i have a crazy fan who literally is trying to like identity fraud me like you know i get like if she was doing it to like be like oh like i'm showing my support but it's like girl so you she have got them like actual tattoos like yeah not yeah. like um like the no ones that come off no temporary sorry yeah no she definitely has my real tattoos and i've asked her to stop I've asked her to so stop. So you know nicely. this girl, or is she just no? Random? I've met her one time in my life, and she ran up on me in the mall. Like, I was walking through the Glendale Galleria in California, and just chilling, you know, minding my business. All I hear is just like, stop, 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 stop. I'm like, <laughs> and she ran up and hugged me, and this was like in the beginning, so I was like taken aback a little right. bit because like, do I know you? Right. For real? For real. But yeah, I met her there and then she also showed up to one of my music video auditions. But like, to be honest, after I told her to stop and she didn't stop, that's when I got uncomfortable because it's like, okay, now it's not, it's not so much cute no more. Right. You know, it started with my name tattoo like on her arm. Mm -hmm. And then from there it went from cute to scary real fast. Mm -hmm. Dang. Yeah. Is that something that you think all TikTok creators go through when they're known in public? Is yes and no, it depends. Mm -hmm. It really just depends on what kind of like content you make, what kind of hold you have like over people. Like it really depends. Cause not all my fans are doing that. You right. know what I'm saying? I feel like, yeah, everybody has potential to have like at least one super crazy fan. Mm -hmm. What would you say that your fan demographic is? Definitely either to one of me or that shake their ass. Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like it's really no in between and girls that look up to me oh i love that yeah because you have like a pretty i would say inspiring story you know definitely yeah i feel like you know everybody goes through shit but i know that my story was is definitely a rough one but it's looking good you know i still be having like little bumps in the road but yeah. overall right now it's looking good and that's what good. matters that's all that matters and i'm sure there's a lot of people who possibly you know go through some things and see that you don't give up so they're not gonna give up yeah to be honest i learned to stop giving a, a long time ago uh -huh. like it, it just don't be worth it mm -hmm. like people think it is yeah so um you said that you have music video auditions yeah so tell me a little bit about that process. Like what kind of girls do you look for for your music videos? It really just depends on the song. Uh -huh. Like to be honest, if it's like a shaking song, obviously I'm looking for people who know how to shake their ass. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like when my auditions happen, I'd be like, come, I give them a little paper to file. Like I check IDs, you know, everything is handled. And then I'd be like, okay, like special talents, go. Like mm -hmm. get active and then you know, some girls be twerking, some girls be doing front flips, and I'd be like, okay, those are the talents I'm looking for. Right. For real. And then I'd probably take like about a week and a half, and then I'd put them all in a group chat and give them the info for the shoot. Because me personally, 
I don't really just like to hire models because it's like not everybody gets picked for modeling companies. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's face gets shown for on sure. a page. And mm -hmm. it's like I want to give people who don't have that type of that type of chance. And I want to give it to like my fans. You know, like I could hire a bunch of girls who don't know me to be in my music video or I could hire my fans and hang out with them mm -hmm. and like catch good vibes, you know, because mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to f with somebody heavy if you don't with somebody heavy you know what i'm saying exactly have you um been watching the juicy could have been record auditions no okay to so be honest juicy you know who he is right the comedian he's on tiktok he just went viral for that dance he did at the white tees that's really viral dance right now with like him and like three other guys juicy i'll show you a picture of him oh he's funny super yeah yeah i follow him on twitter Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That could have been... Okay, yeah. Something. I know him, actually. Okay. Like, not personally, but, right. like, I, I took me a second. I kind of had to spell out the name Drew to C. understand yeah. with the U. He's really funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's funny as fuck. Super. Yeah. <laughs> so, right now, he's doing could have been record auditions. Okay. So, I don't know if you've seen on TikTok, but there are some really viral ones. Um, basically, he was just in Miami. He's, like, traveling. Uh, they got missed it. Yeah, so I know I was gonna say, but anyway, so he was um traveling and he was just in Miami. People were waiting. <gasps> oh yeah, I did guys. see the auditions. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, cool. Okay, so now you know what I'm talking about. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So um basically, people are auditioning to be like in. I think he's like doing this little YouTube series and like a little show, um auditioning to be on his label. Well, he had this girl come in and. She was a body. She was thick. Yeah, he just passed her right away. Pa he yes, her that's the video I saw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's literally the video I was like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Is that kind of how your auditions go? Um, I definitely don't like to let them know if they got it right at the beginning because I like to do my own little back research. You know what okay. I'm saying? I like to look at your page, like go through, go deep. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of don't f with me. Like there is a lot of on this planet that are spiteful and they don't with me oh. me personally i like to check my surroundings you know like mm -hmm. i like to make sure that if you're coming to my shoe you don't have no bad intentions because you know god forbid i'm like oh yeah this girl she ate and she want to show up to the damn to the damn thing with that don't like me now i gotta fight you know what i'm saying now i gotta <laughs> whoop before i film like that's not fun for me like mm -hmm. a little bit but like not really you know would you say you're a good fighter absolutely i did i've lost two fights in my life and how many have you been in? Over 11. Wow. That's a really good ratio. So you're good. Yeah, to be honest, like the first, the fights I lost was my first two fights ever. Like my first two fights ever I lost. So Damn. it was like, I didn't have no experience. But once I told my dad, I got he wasn't going for none of that, to be honest. He was not going, he was so mad that I got my ass beat. I was like, So did he teach you how to fight? Absolutely. So what would you do if I started swinging on you right now? To be honest, because of where you're sitting, my game plan is definitely to kick you in your sh Like, to be honest, I would kick you in your sh face. If I knew you were coming at me, <laughs> swinging right now, I'm in the right position to kick you in your you face. Are. So like- I'd be so scared. No, to be honest, like, if you just started running at me, I would just mm -hmm. have to. Like, yeah. why are you running at me right so now? So you're not scared to like, if something goes down. No, I mean, to be honest, there's really no reason for me to be scared because I'm crazy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I will not fight fair. I will do whatever I have to to make sure my face stays pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you been watching the Body East auditions? Yeah, I watched the, the auditions. Yeah, I, li I like that show, so I'd be mm -hmm. watching it all the time. Do you think that you'd be able to fight in that show? you think they would pick you? Um, I think they would pick me, not because I would have to fight anyone at the auditions, but I think they would pick me because my energy speaks for itself, mm -hmm. to be honest. Like, I'm lit as f and I'm like, after watching those auditions, like, I personally know nobody in that in that would have tried me. Number one, like, I have good energy. You're not going to f*** with a bitch that got good energy because why? Right. Like, why? What would, what would be the reason that anyone would really attack me? Like, unless it's already beef, yeah, I would fight. You know, I'm not going to be over there. Like, there's right. hella cameras around. I'm not going to be like, and let me, like, let it talk to me. I'm going to hold my own. Right. But I wouldn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, my name speaks for itself. Right. I wouldn't have to do all that. For sure. All right. So, I see that you have an OnlyFans. What kind of content do you make on there? To be honest, everything, girl. I mean, like, everything except for BG stuff. Like, right. I do... 
Yeah, I would think I'd be using that. Do pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. Like, I probably, the only thing I don't do are like, you know, like the weird kinks. Like, I, I'm not going on camera. You know what right, I'm saying? Like, sure. I just do, you know, the regular. Mm -hmm. Um, so what made you start an OnlyFans? Because you were already doing music and TikTok and dancing. What made you say, like, I want to start an OnlyFans? Girl, only COVID hit and the club's closed. Okay. Oh, so you've been had an OnlyFans? Yeah. Okay. I've had it literally since COVID started. Mm. Like, the second that went into effect, I was like, oh, yeah. Got to run up the bag elsewhere. Because, you know, like, I always had, like, growing up a private Snapchat where I would, like, be like, oh, pay to be on my private story on Snapchat where I would, like, post stuff like that already. Mm -hmm. So, like, taking pictures of my body has never been anything that's like, whoa, I'm so scared right now. You know, like, I've always been comfortable in my skin, so I've right. always been able to, you know. Pick. Like I said, like, I got in trouble for taking pics on my DSI, right. like. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so with it. How, how is the OnlyFans life different than the stripping life? You don't have to talk, like, you don't have to, like, talk face-to-face -to, -face to people. Mm -hmm. And, like, you can set a price. You know, right. you know, you don't have to bargain your prices with mm -hmm. them. And it's, like, it's set money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, for a specific video, it's a set price. You know, when you go on stage, it's, like, it's always a hit or miss. You know, you never know how much money you're going to get there. But, like, OnlyFans... So you could sell a video for a specific price. You know how much you're going to make off that. For sure. And is the money better on OnlyFans? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, for sure. Mm -hmm. So how about music? How's that like? It's good. It's fun. Like, I think that my work also, like, helps me with my music because, right. I, you know, I'd be rapping about some pretty gruesome, like, mm -hmm. nasty stuff. And also, I'd be having to be really to write. You okay. know, like so I you need, write all your own music. Yeah, and you have to be super and like in the mood. Yeah, in order definitely. To get your best, like content. Mm-hmm. Okay, like what was a time that you remember when you were writing your song that you were like the super horniest? Like which line came out of that? Okay, well I have this song. I think DDLG for sure. Mm -hmm. That was like one of my most songs. Like it was. It went, it went viral. It's like the for you, I'm gonna let you hit it for free. Mm -hmm. Like, it definitely went crazy viral. And I was definitely very, very when I wrote that. Mm -hmm. It was like, I was like, yeah. I think I had just got done fingering myself and I was like, oh, oh yeah, let me write this shit down. Okay. And is that like how you usually have your finger yourself and then you're like, okay, like, do you think of like lyrics in your head as your. Well, sometimes I like the pictures of myself. Oh. And, like, sometimes I match, like, pictures of my bae. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I'm very much, like, a picture person, you know? Because, okay. like, I can't see with my eyes closed. My imagination, it don't work like that. Okay. So I have to be, like, looking at something. So, yeah, I be, like, I just be, like, looking at stuff that's appealing to me. Because if it's appealing, then I'm going to. So do you receive pictures instead of, you know, most girls always talk about, like, the pics they get and blah blah but we've never really talked about like I mean I have before not so much anymore because I don't really talk to a lot of people that like mm -hmm. that but like definitely in the past like when I was first starting blowing up like that's all my Twitter DMs were filled of Thanks. yeah because I made that song and I said don't bang my line lest you know you want to right and Winter. after that I received a flood of pics like, it was just so many. I was like, that is not what I said, but okay. Mm -hmm. no, I'm not mad at it. Right. So, you know, when girls receive pictures, they always really critique them. They're like, oh, you know, the balls have to be showy, has to be a certain, like, size that they like, circumcised, uncircumcised. Like, when you see a picture, like, what things like that go through your head? Well, I preferably like an angle where, like, your legs are up, you know, you're, you're holding the camera, like, underneath, and, like, good lighting. Good lighting. Yeah. Or, like, your face and, like, into... Okay. So, like, a little video. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're looking over here. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think that. Okay. So, some people can take notes. Yeah. For sure. Have you ever received an unwanted pic? Yeah. Definitely, for sure. Someone I did not want it from. And it wasn't hitting? No. Mm -hmm. No. It was this girl, she kept trying to holler at me and I was keeping it friendly. 
And then I'm texting her all of a sudden, whoop, whoop, pick. I'm like, damn, friend. Just wasn't the vibes. <laughs> was it a turn off? Yeah, definitely I blocked her after that. Cause I had already expressed I didn't want that. So I was yeah. like, gotta go. Mm -hmm. So back to your music a little bit. Right now, uh, Bow Wow, he's being sued because a 10 year old rapper, 10 year old artist, had sent him 15K for a feature and Bow Wow never did the feature. Would you ever want like Bow Wow on, your, on one of your songs? Well, I mean, girl, that just shows me that he can't follow through. Yeah. So, so no. Like, how you gonna rob a ten-year-old? That's mm -hmm. insane. That's insane. Mm -hmm. So, me personally, I look a lot on people's actions, mm -hmm. and that would tell me that he's not trustworthy. Right. So, I probably wouldn't. I would have to be in the studio with him, like while he records it, and like make sure that he don't leave till he records type mm -hmm. shit. Like, I, w I wouldn't. I would have to pay him in person mm -hmm. at the studio. What kind of features are you hoping to have? Like, who do you want? Cardi to be? B. Okay. I feel like she's be spitting really nasty, sh and mm -hmm. I want to. I want to have a song with somebody who's equally as nasty. Mm -hmm. Like, there was this interview I did, and they posted. It's like on Snapchat every like three months, and it's like, you think that WAP is inappropriate? Look at this, and it's a picture of me. And so like, I love I love Cardi B. So I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope she sees this. <laughs> Yeah, the WAP music video went pretty crazy, too. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So crazy. Yeah, I like her remix she just did right now with, um... The Point Me Fendi. Too? Fendi, yeah. I like that one, too. That's yeah. Good song. I'm cool with Fendi, too. I want to do a song with her, too. Cool. So you have some, like, up-and-coming stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I have seen you on, like, YouTube videos and, uh, besides your music. You know, little interviews that you've done? I've seen that you've been on uh, No Jumper with Adam before. Yeah. Um, you know, he's been in the headlines a lot lately because... Girl, I cried in that interview. It was so embarrassing. Oh, uh, no, that's not embarrassing. Bro, like, no, because... being genuine, though. Listen, no, like, it wasn't even... Because, like, girl, I lied. Like, I, that was not why I was crying. Because, like, he had asked me something, and I was trying to hold my tears, and then I started crying because... And it was just because someone had pissed me off right before the interview. Like, someone had really made me upset, and, like, he asked about them, and I was like... And it, like, triggered it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's also been in the headlines right now because of that whole thing with Jason Love that happened. Have you seen it? I have, actually. Mm -hmm. Where Adam let Lena f*** Jason Love, um, and he was getting a lot of backlash because he allowed his wife to sleep with another man. Is that something that you would ever be okay with, like letting your person yeah. sleep with someone Yeah, else? absolutely. Oh, you'd be cool with that? Absolutely. Okay. A hundred. I want to watch. Oh. Girl turns me on like to be honest yeah i have a little bit of a fantasy like yeah mm -hmm. i i like that mm -hmm. like i me personally i wouldn't care like i don't think that it would be a problem because like as long as we're talking about it right why not you know what i'm saying so you don't really agree with the backlash that he got then no and like me personally i'm young you know what i'm saying like it's a whole lot of life to live it's a whole lot of people to right you know what i'm saying like people get in relationships and be like this right away immediately and like at a young age and it's like dang it causes problems eventually in the future because then people could be like well i never got to live my life i never got to have a phase like i never got to do all that stuff mm -hmm. me personally i don't want to restrict anybody from like living out their life you know if you think that bad and you want to her let me know Ooh. film it so i can watch or let me be there and boom mm -hmm. get active you know what i'm saying like it's a whole bunch of in this world. Why not try a few? Right. Okay. So you think that would make a relationship and not break it? No. I definitely think that can break it. Okay. I feel can. like don't go into it unless your relationship has a strong foundation. Okay. Because even the, like, the tiniest sliver of jealousy can f*** everything up. Mm -hmm. But obviously I, I don't really feel like a jealous person. Like I want... You know, mm -hmm. I'm only jealous when I don't know. Right. You know, like if you know what's going on, then you're good. Yeah. What if you were with a girl and she was jealous? Would you be able to be with her? No. Okay. So like, like, not really. Like me personally, I just feel like it gets overwhelming yeah. sometimes. You know, it would be like. Mm -hmm. 
too much. Just It's just because I give so much trust, you know? I just need someone to give that back to me evenly. Because I feel like if I'm giving you 100% trust, but you're getting jealous over every little tiny thing, like, yeah. we're obviously not reciprocating the same type of energy, and we don't need to be together. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I can... If I don't have no issue with you, I just have to find, you know, like I just had to find somebody who was comfortable with the lifestyle that I live and I did. Right. So, here you go. So if your girl's friend or sister tried to smash you, would you tell your girl about it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'll tell my, I'll tell my girlfriend right away. I'd be like, babe, just so you know, mm -hmm. this just happened. What do you want me to do about it? Okay. You know, like I communicate. So, cause then I have, I think about it like, what if my friend wanted to smash my bae and my bae didn't tell me? Right. Then I'd be mad. Mm -hmm. So it's like, in order to not make somebody mad and like not f things, like just, you know, treat your significant other how you want to be treated. Mm-hmm. Which zodiac sign do you think has the best Taurus. Really? Yeah. They're really grounded, so they'd be taking care of themselves, mm -hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really nice. Okay, and what about like which zodiac sign do you think is the worst in bed? Libra. Really? Yeah. To be honest. Why? I just feel like they're so wishy washy, like and then like imagine like you about to right and then they change the pattern. <laughs> like that's how I feel like Libras are. I feel like Libras are way too much in their head and want to make everything so balanced right. but and then they end up everything up. Damn. Yeah, for sure. Have you like a lot of Libras? Oh, I actually have a book with every single zodiac sign I have had with because so, I really like that zodiac sign. So yeah. I'd be trying to figure it out, like who's the best. So who is like you said Taurus, but like who is your top three like best zodiac sign wise? Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn. Oh. Yeah. And these are all girls. You know, two Earth signs. And an, an air, air sign, sign. yeah. Ooh. Okay. I like that answer. I feel like that's good. Aquarius, like, guys at least, I think are really good. Yeah, I, to be honest, I wouldn't know. I don't think I've an Aquarius guy. So these are all girls in your book? No. Oh, there's guys too? Yeah. Okay. Okay, but mostly girls probably. Yeah, to be honest, like, two guys in there. Damn. Yeah. They're memorable, though. Um, no, they were just <laughs> written in the book because they happened. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They so, weren't really that memorable. Mm -hmm. I think, like, the regret was more memorable than the actual f*** itself. Sure. How many people would you say that you f***ed in a week before? In a week? Um, <laughs> like, maybe 30. 30 girls? No. But I was... A Oh. So like, okay, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Like, <laughs> like me personally though, like without, like take out the, probably like seven. Okay. Yeah. But damn, 30? That's... Girl, I was getting to the bag, to be real. Like I was homeless. I needed somewhere to stay damn. and I needed to get that money. So. Damn. Okay. After like, cause once I first, I was against my own will. Mm -hmm. But then once I realized how much money it was bringing in, I was like, man, well, I guess let me start my own then. Mm -hmm. Put myself on them websites. Was in there like swimwear. So what's the most amount that you've been offered? To one girl, the uh, one girl one time, she said she was offered a million dollars and she declined it. You think that's fact or cap? Girl, who was she the president? Like, to be honest, no, I think that's cap. Uh, the only reason I think that's cap is because will f anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's just, it's not, I don't think personally that that's, it's going to go down like that. The most I've ever been offered to have was 10K. Damn. Okay. And, I mean, is that like something that's common for you to be offered that much? Is no. That, is that before TikTok or is that after TikTok? It was after. Okay. Yeah. But, no, that's not common. Not common. Yeah, to be honest, some of these lying for real like yeah but you know 
It's because a lot of people would be like, oh, you're selling your body for that much. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of criticism that comes with that type right. of lifestyle. So a lot of girls will definitely, like, mm -hmm. put their numbers up a little higher than what they really are. Right. For sure. I mean, and I feel like, you know, because of and stuff like that, it has gotten a bad name to it. Work, quote unquote, sex work. I mean, I know that sex work varies. Mm -hmm. You know, it means a lot of things. But at the end of the day, at least the girls that I've interviewed and met on the bus and stuff, they're all about, you know, making money and getting their bag. And it's not all necessarily negative, even though a lot of it has a negative connotation to it. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, at the end of the day, if the economy crashes, you know what's still going to be sold. So, like, at the end of the day, sex work is something that will never fail. Right. You know, mm -hmm. will always be forever. I'm all the time right now mm -hmm. you know like this is always gonna sell so i feel like that's why people hate on it so much because yeah. like when you're when your big office job isn't, isn't doing no, nothing for you no more <laughs> guess what is doing something for me my mm -hmm. so do you think it's four times a day every single day is good or bad to be honest you know it's like a hit or miss you know like it just depends it depends on what type of sex you're having because right. me personally like i would not have four times a day i just wouldn't i think not really my there's vibe. some girls on here who say that they've been like 15 times in a day i don't know a lot of times in a day but i don't think with in all times right so do you think that that's like crazy that these girls can be taking that and like some of these girls taking like big like we had brick Dilla on the bus before his 13 inches a little over i don't find that attractive mm -hmm. just because it hurts like that hurts it's not it's not friendly i would literally buy my those are like five six inches mm. maybe seven if you're lucky yeah but i like to keep it real nice a nice good size right so do you use ones at all is that like something you know that you're i don't i won't put it on but i I'll, I'll let it be used on me yeah okay but you're not like so you're more submissive then yeah absolutely okay so is your type more of like a dominant woman, like or a more masculine woman, or do you like the quote? What do they call them? Like lipstick. Um, to be honest, if I am a pretty girl, I'm gonna be in charge. Oh okay. So yeah. That's when you'd be more dominant. Yeah, but if I'm like my bae or like some masculine, I'm. Okay. I'll be a little princess. I love that. Yeah. Cute. I can definitely see that. And do you think that if people, if you're fans from your music, from TikTok, from OnlyFans, Instagram, do you think if they met you in real life, like, they would expect you to be how you are? Yeah. I'm very open with myself on the internet. You know what I'm saying? I'm very open with who I am as a person. I'm very open with what I'm about. Like, yeah. I don't really have a lot of boundaries with the internet, mm -hmm. so... I feel like everything that I, I'm saying right now, like, I'd still say, yeah, like, you know? For so sure. I don't really be hiding a lot. So I feel like, yeah, they'd probably expect it. Mm -hmm. 